guys, it's me again and welcome back to my channel, Chicha Style Collection. So in today's video, we are going to make Lotta Loops. Now let's get started. Okay guys, so before we start, I just want to show you the bracelet that I made. Now this one is the Sparkle Berry. So I added a lot of charms, I added seven. So I added a purple diamond, a purple flower, a squishy cactus, a purple roller skate, a squishy cat, a green flower, and a green diamond. So here's what it looks like. Super cute. So today we will make the frosty icing. Now when you open this, it comes with a weave guide. It comes with the loops, a lot of loops. I'm not gonna take them. I'm not gonna put them here. We have the charms. We also have the loop latches in here. Okay. So the weave guide is like the instructions on how to make the bracelet. And how you make this is just like how I make my loom bands. And it also has a checklist behind so that um, you can know which charms you can collect. And then the loop latches and then the squishy charms. Okay, so let me open this first so that we can we can <laughs> we can see what charms we got and what loop latches we got. Okay, okay, yep. <gasps> yes just what I wanted. I got the unicorn squishy charm. And I also got the snowflake. It's so cute. We have the flower loop latch. We have the diamond. Let me see. Oh, the diamond is the ultra rare. And then I also got the hearts. This is actually perfect because I got this one, the letter S, and the the other one, the star in my sparkle berry set. We have this one, we have this heart. We have a diamond, but this one's pink. I like this one even better than the purple and the green one because pink's my favorite color. We have a blue butterfly. A blue flower. These colors are really, really nice. And we have like this sign. Um, I don't know what that is. Okay, so let's start making our bracelet. So let me see the pattern here. So you start with blue. This one, just the plain one, not the sparkly one, because there's a sparkly one in the set. Is this green? It looks like the same color, but okay, let's start with this one. You have to like make um, a number eight. And then the next color is pink. Oh, I love this color. It's so bright. And then white. And then once you get to three loops, you take number eight and you loop it over the other two loops. And then you add another one. The next color is the sparkly one. So here, let me take this. And then you loop the third one over and you just continue, oops. You just continue doing this step so that you can grow your bracelet. So after white, what's the next color? 
or wait after this blue this is really fun this reminds me a lot of making my loom bands it's like the inverted fishtail okay and after that pink white I really like how thick these loops are. They're like the little ponytails. They're really thick. Sparkly one. The sparkly ones are my favorite because they're so vibrant. They're super cute too. After pink. Okay. This one. You don't have to follow the pattern. You can do any pattern you like. I'm just following the pattern because I think it looks really cute. This looks really nice. Okay. Blue, pink, white. Loop it over. And then after that, what's after white? Oh, sparkly one. Loop it over. This one. Oops. Oh no. <laughs> Let me bring it down so that it doesn't. <sighs> Ow. Then pink. Let me bring this closer over here because I can't really see the colors. This is so cute. I really love the sparkly ones. Oops. After pink, we do get, um, white. Sparkly one. This is kind of like the sparkly teal color. Oh. And then after that one, this one. So cute. And then the pink. Do 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 do. Okay. So that um the white. Oops, oh no. I have to be careful because if I forgot to loop over the other one, it would not look good and it kind of ruins the bracelet. So, gotta be careful. Oops, this is the wrong one. You also gotta pay attention to the colors so that you make sure that you're putting the right one on. Because it'll seem pretty weird if it doesn't, it's not coordinated. Then teal. Oops, we got to loop that one. Teal. <laughs> okay, then pink. Okay, then what? Okay. Sparkly. Now after I loop this pink one, I'm actually gonna measure it. Okay, the next color is this one. Okay, here we go. And then the pink. Oops. After the pink, the white. And after the white is this one. And 
since this is my last uh, one of this color, I'm going to end the bracelet here. So you just loop the others. And then once you only have one loop left, you take your you take it off your finger. And then you take this. And then you kind of like put it over the other one. So that you're left with only one loop. And then you choose your loop latch. So I'm going to choose this flower one. And then you just put it on. Connect it. This part's going to be a little hard to connect because there's two loops. So I suggest just connecting one at a time. And I think I'm going to have to um, take off some of the bands because I think this is a bit too big. Let me see. Oh, this is really big. Um, it's pretty good, but... I think it's a bit too big. Hold on, let me take off my other bracelet so that I can like... Yeah, this is definitely way too big. So, you can just take off some of the loops. Okay. I always wanted to end on the same color it starts with. So it's like... There we go, much better. Now, time to put the charms on. So I always put these um, squishy charms. Like, there's always one charm in the middle and squishy char the squishy charms are always like right beside it. So I'm gonna decide which one I'm gonna put in the middle. So I've decided that I'm gonna put the butterfly one in the middle. So I'm gonna put it on this one. So here's how you can add your charms. You just put, you just, um, put it through the um, loop, then you secure it. There you go. You can just fix how it, you know, looks. Now these white uh, little things are connectors right here so that you can add these to your bracelet. So you put the white, like little ring. I can, why can't I put it in? It's so hard. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So you put it through the hole. So I'm going to put this one over here, two loops after the butterfly. Okay, I can't, okay, here. and then you just There you go. Oh no, came undone. This was pretty hard. Okay, hopefully it stays this time. I really um like to tuck in the part where you secure it so that even though when it comes undone, it's still like, you know, it doesn't fall. Time for the unicorn. The unicorn one is my favorite because I love unicorns. in hold on the hole is so small okay there we go got it in and then two loops after so one two so it's right, gonna be right here I want everything to be the same. Oh no, I put it on backwards. Oh dear. This is always the hardest part for me because it's so hard to get this little loop through. 
but I think I got it. So this is how it's looking so far. It looks super cute. And then we're gonna put the charms on the clip-on charms on the side. Oops. Super cute. I don't think I'm gonna add all the charms this time because it's a bit too much and some of them don't really go together so I'll just save them. I'll just put these ones because these are the ones in theme. So here we go, here's our bracelet. Okay guys, I just wanna say thank you to my mom and dad for the lots of loops and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my lots of loops. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video. And as always, keep safe everyone and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!